Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview. Book of Zechariah, Chapter 12. Let's get started now. The Book of Zechariah is one of the 12 minor prophets in the Old Testament. It is a prophetic book containing visions, messages, and oracles that were given to the prophet Zechariah during the reign of Darius the Great, the Persian king who ruled from 522 to 486 BC. Zechariah's prophecies mainly focused on the rebuilding of the temple and the restoration of Jerusalem. In chapter 12 of the book, the prophet received a message from the Lord regarding the future of Jerusalem and its people. Chapter 12 begins with the Lord declaring that he would make Jerusalem a cup that would cause all the surrounding nations to stagger. This is a metaphorical language that signifies the idea that Jerusalem would become the center of attention and the cause of conflict among the nations. The Lord declared that on that day, he would make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the nations, and whoever tried to lift it would hurt themselves. In essence, God was telling the nations that they should not try to move against Jerusalem because they would fail. The Lord then declared that he would strike every horse with panic and every rider with madness, and he would watch over the house of Judah but would strike every horse of the nations with blindness. This was a warning to the nations that they should not try to attack Judah because God would protect them. The Lord also declared that the leaders of Judah would know that he was with them and that they would become like a fire that sets the forest ablaze and like a torch that sets fire to sheaves. In other words, God would empower them to be victorious against their enemies. The Lord then declared that he would pour out a spirit of grace and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They would look on him whom they had pierced, mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. This is a prophecy about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, who would be pierced for the sins of the world. The people of Jerusalem would eventually recognize him as their savior and grieve for him. The Lord then declared that there would be a great mourning in Jerusalem, like the mourning of Hadad Rimmon in the plain of Megiddo. This was a reference to an ancient Canaanite god of storms and thunder, and the mourning that the people did when they thought he had died. The Lord was telling the people that their mourning would be just as great as the mourning for a god. In the second half of the chapter, the Lord declared that he would strike every horse with confusion and every rider with madness, and the house of Judah would fight at Jerusalem's side. The Lord would strike the horses of the nations with blindness, and the clans of Judah would say in their hearts, The inhabitants of Jerusalem are my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. In that day, the Lord would make the clans of Judah like a blazing pot in the midst of wood, like a flaming torch among sheaves. They would devour all the surrounding nations on the right and on the left, and Jerusalem would be inhabited in its place. The chapter ends with the Lord declaring that he would save the tents of Judah first, so that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem may not surpass that of Judah. The Lord promised that he would protect the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the feeblest among them would be like David, and the house of David would be like God, like the angel of the Lord going before them. The verse also speaks of a time when the inhabitants of Jerusalem will recognize the Lord and mourn for him as one mourns for an only child. This speaks to a deep level of sorrow and remorse for past sins, and a desire to repent and turn towards God. It is a reminder that even in times of great distress and turmoil, God is always present and can bring comfort and healing. In verses 11 to 14, Zechariah speaks of a time when the people of Jerusalem will be filled with a spirit of grace and supplication, and they will look upon him whom they have pierced. This is a clear reference to Jesus Christ, who was pierced on the cross for the sins of humanity. It is a reminder that even in the darkest moments, God is working to bring about redemption and salvation for his people. The teachings of Zechariah chapter 12 are still relevant today. It reminds us that God is present even in our most difficult moments, and that he is always working to bring about healing and redemption for his people. The passage also reminds us of the importance of repentance and turning towards God in times of distress. The idea of mourning for God as one mourns for an only child is a powerful image that can help us understand the depth of our need for God. 
It is a reminder that even when we feel like we are alone in our struggles, God is always with us and is ready to comfort and heal us. The reference to Jesus Christ in verses 11 to 14 reminds us of the ultimate sacrifice that was made for our salvation. It is a reminder that even in the darkest moments of our lives, we can turn towards God and find hope in the promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Conclusion The book of Zechariah is a powerful and inspiring book that speaks to the enduring nature of God's love and the hope that we can find in Him. Chapter 12 is a reminder that even in the midst of turmoil and distress, God is always present and is working to bring about healing and redemption for His people. The teachings of Zechariah chapter 12 are still relevant today, and they remind us of the importance of turning towards God in times of distress and of the power of repentance, and the promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter, below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.